if you are going through and you are uh, contemplating suicide, it's not going to work. People commit suicide. People who do it. Regardless of the, the method they use, they employ, or the reasons they give. The whole purpose of it is to bring something to an end. The person who commits suicide is trying to cut something off. They, they're trying to end pain. That's what they're trying to do. People don't commit suicide to have their pain quadrupled. People don't kill themselves with their expectations of going to a worse situation. What's on their mind is to make things better. That is the deceitfulness of suicide. Suicide doesn't make anything better. Suicide is not the end of a thing. Suicide is the beginning of a thing. It is the beginning of spending the rest of your existence throughout eternity in hell. You, suicide is the ultimate from the frying pan to the fire. The problem is over time, the church have soft peddled it. And we talk about it now like uh, the, the, the person who takes their life, well, you know, they're in a better place and at least now they're out of their misery. That's not true. You cannot, God gives life. Amen. And the Lord says, thou shall do no murder. Thou shall not kill. Thou shall do no unlawful killing. You are not, we're not given permission nor are we given authorization to end life. That's right. I, I'm struggling with our own life because it's really not your own. It came from God. The Lord breathed into man's nostrils the breath of life. Amen. Amen. And if you just let the Lord, if you just let God, if you just wait on him, the Lord will make things better. And see, you can't, you can't repent for sin in advance. Lord, forgive me for what I'm about to do five minutes from now. Bang! And you blow your brains out. No, no, no. The, the act wasn't done until you did it. And see, if, you, if you're gone, Jesus teaches that if you go into life and you, if you didn't get forgiveness in this world, if you didn't get the forgiveness in this world, then there is no forgiveness in the world to come. Amen. And uh, the lesson is, uh, with the, uh, these people of, of late in the news, it, the lesson is the Bible is right. Wealth is not the pa panacea. Riches and fame is not the panacea that it is made out to be. People need Jesus. That, that CNN man would be alive today if he spent more time in the, in the scripture than in the kitchen and learn about Jesus, he would be alive. He would not have taken his life at 61. Later would still be making purses. Has she learned about Jesus?